Welcome to VTT Studio. Uh, today we're talking about how to replace fossil resources with renewables. And we're lucky to have here with us in the studio today research professor Kristina Cruz of the VTT Technical Research Center of Finland about how to use renewable biomass as part of the new bioeconomy. Thanks for joining us, Kristina. So why do we need renewables? What are the benefits of renewables and can you give us some examples? Uh, first of all, we need to get more value out from uh, biomass. So we need to utilize uh, all fractions from the biomass to different value products and uh, generate minimum amount of the waste, preferably zero waste. For instance, a wood material we should use for construction materials and for houses, furnitures, etc. Uh, fibers we should use and can use for paper and packaging products, uh, for textile materials. But there are various biomasses and uh, fractions which are not suitable for fibers, but which could, could be used for sugar production, technical sugar production. And from sugars we can get uh, fuels, we can get uh, biochemicals by microbial or chemical conversion. Could you please tell us more about the products that can be made from lignocellulose? Lignin, the aromatic component of, of lignocellulose, can be used for various applications like resins, uh, surfactants, even in food applications in the future as emulsifiers, for instance. The least valuable products can always be used for energy purposes. How is VTT promoting the use of renewables? We develop various technologies, sustainable technologies for biomass and also product concepts. Uh, for instance, foam forming technology utilizes the paper machine in a totally new way to produce insulation materials, acoustic plates, different types of non-woven structures for hygiene products, and technical textiles. Our scientists are also developing upgraded uh, products for lignin. For instance, cat lignin is a technology which produces highly reactive lignin for high substitution of phenols in uh, phenol in formaldehyde resin production. Uh, in Sugar Road, the challenges are related to the recalcitrant structure of plant biomass and also the limited performance of the enzymes. We are working on enzyme technology. We discover novel enzymes. We analyze and uh, study the hydrolysis mechanisms and inhibitions. And we also develop on-site enzyme production. Uh, we are developing also pretreatment technologies, which are extremely important in uh, second generation biorefineries. We believe that uh, technologies which fractionate the three major components are the future technologies. And for that, we have developed a pulping technology called alkaline oxidation at VTT. And this technology provides good quality fibers for sugar production or they can be used as fibers and high, highly interesting lignin fraction. What are the commercial opportunities so far and what about in the future? The lignocellulosic ethanol production is currently being commercialized globally. The annual uh, capacity is about 1 billion liters. There are still many e places for improvement, for instance in uh, enzymatic hydrolysis and pretreatment development. Lignin is the least utilized component of lignocellulose. It is currently produced in high volumes from craft processes, so 55 million tons annually, and 99%, more than 99%, is used for energy and heat purposes. One could produce various products from lignin and for instance the phenolic resin market only is about 6 million tons annually and the and the value of resin could be 10 to 5 times more as compared to the energy value 
Well, we certainly look forward to seeing how these products can be commercialized and become part of our daily lives.